a brand new opportunity to prove myself once again to the judges that I am not just a semi-finalist. I love this kid. That I am a champion. Uh, when you were on the show last time and you didn't win, my mouth literally dropped. So many people were disappointed, hence the reason why you're here today. How do you feel now taking on the best in the world? I didn't expect to be getting invited to champions, so just to be here is just an honour. Thank you. And maybe this time you do have a chance of winning. Anything can happen on this show, so good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Bloody fantastic. Thank you. Let me tell you something, Courtney. Something has changed in you. Trust me, in the time you were on the show last year to now, your interaction with the audience, the confidence. I think this has been my favorite performance of you so far. Thank you. Mel B. You're only 14, and you've already figured out what style to dress in, what style of music you like. you figured out your performance. Most people, it takes somebody a lifetime to figure just one of those things out. And now you're amongst the champions, and you are a champion. Yeah, Hands you. down, you are. Yeah. Thank you. Heidi. Courtney, I love when you come onto the stage. Thank then you. when you start singing, you turn into this lioness, and you just roar it out, and you just so... Cool. Thank you, Cindy. You really are. I always love watching you. Thank you. First of all, fantastic. But I, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't recognize that song. Neither. What is that? Who's that? Who? It's original. Oh! oh Amazing. Yes. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Well done. God, how do you feel right now? It's overwhelming. Okay, here we go.
Did you have a mentoring session with her? Yeah. She didn't tell me the song. She wasn't telling me what the surprise is. So I couldn't even give my two cents in. Like, so. Wow. for me. Okay, Petunia, this isn't all about you, and plus, I'm 19 now. I know, you're aging. I'm not. <laughs> I know, but I feel, like, I feel like I'm old enough to do this on my own now. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Yeah, I am. I feel like I've got the music in me. No trouble in my life No foolish dream to make me cry Well, let life get me down Come on, tell you I'm gonna take it The way that I found it I got the music in me that you are absolutely fantastic. I'm glad you didn't abandon Petunia all the way because yeah. this is how we fell in love with I you. I felt bad for her. I'm so happy also that you're back here on our stage. Thank you. Mel, what did you think? Your beauty is you and Petula's, Petula's Petunia. voice, Petulia's voice and your voice. Petunia. You, you know who I mean. Petunia. Petu I can't say Petunia. Pe Petunia. Petunia. And Petunia, yeah. that's what captured America's hearts. But I almost loved the simplicity of what you were doing back then. And I just feel like the music and everything else overshadowed what you're so good at. I don't agree. I don't agree. You know what? Does it? I'm going to agree with Mel, and I'll tell you why. There are very few people in the world who can do what you do. The singing and the ventriloquism together is your, what I call USP, your unique selling point. And I think we were distracted away from what you do so brilliantly. The good news is, it's not down to us, it's down to the audience. Thank you. You took a really, really big risk in stepping away from Petunia. It's definitely different, but it's just a new part of me, and that's why I did it. Having raised teenage girls, it's also somebody who's 12 years old who wants to show another yes, side. She doesn't want to. She doesn't yeah, want to be that little that girl. Into a bit of a comedy thing. I have a brand new opportunity to prove myself once again to the judges that I am not just a semifinalist. I love this that I am a champion. Hello. Hi. Hi, Luke. How are you? I'm amazing. I'm so excited to be back. Thank you so much. And you know what? It sounds like they are, too. 
Thank you. How has it been since the last time you were on America's Got Talent? I got to sing on a Broadway stage. Oh, I, you did? I said that would happen. <laughs> Luke, the whole idea of this show is raising your game from yes. when we saw you before. Do you think you've done that? 100%. You do. I am trying new music styles and putting my own twist on them, so hopefully it pays off. Well, let's find out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you so much. What's left to say? These prayers ain't working anymore. Every word shot down in flames. Cause I've been shaking, I've been bending backwards till I'm broke. Watching all these dreams go up in. before you even started to sing. <laughs> I can hear the nerves, but the good news is you're only 12, you're only gonna get better Thank from you so here. Much. Yeah. Good job. Luke, why did you choose that song? I just love Celine Dion and I, I love that song. I, I didn't. I, no, I'm afraid. Uh, I didn't. It's not to say I don't like you. I, I just didn't like the song. I don't think it enabled you to showcase that big range of yours. Mm -hmm. But here's the good news. The audience reaction was mental. <laughs> I mean... Thank you. Uh, and I think... I think you've got a shot of making it through to the finals. But, look, you've got... To, oh, shut up. Look, you've got to step up because you are better than that. Oh, thank you so much. Luke, I, on the other hand, I have so much respect for you. This is absolutely mind-blowing to me that you can sing like that. So good to see you and good luck today. Thanks, Luke. Thank you so much. Hi, hi, Angelica. Hi. Oh my gosh, it is so nice to see you again. It is so great to be here to perform for AGT The Champions. I'm Aww. so, so excited! <laughs> um, Angelica, uh, I actually think coming second on a show like ours is probably the hardest thing, particularly at your age, to deal with. And yeah, you know, tonight I really am fighting for my place here at AGT Champions, and I think this song really applies to what I'm doing here today. Good. Good. Good and luck. that makes you a champion. <laughs> Sending big waves in 
voice and you are this little ball of you like a firecracker and I can also see your hunger to win this competition but having said that I thought you would have taken this song and put your own Angelica twist on it because uh, you have the tools me. to do that with your level where your vocals are so perfect you can afford to take a bigger risk oh man how are you what do you think well you know you are amongst champions. You show up and you rip the ceiling off of this theater. You really do. And you know what? That was your fight song. And if I can do anything, I'm going to help you win this fight.
I was screaming a lot. Um, how many are there of you on stage? We are 30 people over here. 30 people and yeah. one girl. Girl powers holding her own. Yeah. Yes. Simon, what did you think? What did I think? I think this was a step up. Woo! I think the fact that you put your title on the line to come back to try and win this it says so much about you because this was world class. The audience is going to vote. Only six acts go through tonight. Good luck. you I missed you too it's how's to be everything back. been since the final insane in a great way good people are calling me to play across the world guatemala toronto oh just berlin everywhere like this tour is happening and no more complaints from the neighbors or anything like that i mean if they're complaining they're drowned out by the <laughs> applause of my new family <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask you any more questions, Avery. Right. I don't even say good luck because you don't need luck. You are brilliant. Thank you. You got it, son. Breathe. Yes. You got it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Avery Jensen Experience. Hi.
three. All-Stars, you, young man, are an all-star. You really are. You stepped it up. You went from an amazing piece of talent to an amazing show. You are a show. Thank you, thank you. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. The whole show. I mean, you can see that I love you. I mean, I can't stay in my seat. <laughs> I have to stand and dance, you know? You, you're doing all of that to me, you know? Thank you. This is why we wanted to make this show All Stars, because I believe when you're great, competition like this brings out the best in people. And this was you at your very, very best. There's no question of doubt. Thank you. You've given yourself a shot of winning this. You have absolutely set the bar right now. Yeah! Avery Dixon! Man, it felt unreal. <gasps> I feel unstoppable. I could do it all over again. Oh, listen, it. you are a star. I was kind of, do I give him the golden buzzer? I almost did, but I think he's going to make it through.
to say anything. We just saw how amazing Sophie is. I mean, bam! Thank you. Can I say something? Please. And I mean this. Listen, this is competitive, and I don't like to give my uh, fellow uh, mentors credit. But keep it coming. Go on. But if, if tonight was my golden buzzer, I would use it on you. I definitely Thank you. Use. I think I'm going to have to agree with Howie because that looked very well rehearsed and slick. Thank well you done. so much. Thank you. Okay, so I felt actually quite emotional, Sophie, because I'm seeing you grow as an artist and have the guts to come back and compete again against some of the best acts in the world and actually get better. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I have a feeling this might be your year. Thank you so much. And because timing is everything, and I don't want anyone to kerfuffle this, as Mel would say, I will give you this golden buzzer no way! right now. My dreams come alive. There's only five spots only left. Five spots. Sophie Dossi, you Thank are you so going much. straight to the AGT Fantasy League Finals! This, this is so insane. I mean, I'm like speechless right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I want to say that you did not really actually need my golden buzzer, but you know, I push it for you because I love you and I believe in you and I think you're amazing. That was great. One more time for Sophie Dossi. This girl's great. I yes. wanted her on my team. <laughs> I did. I know. Hello. Hello. I know who you are. I think I know who you are too. My goodness, <laughs> how are you? I'm great, it's good to see you. This is amazing. Now, you were my golden buzzer. How was your first golden buzzer? And you sang Fight Song. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, there are those auditions you just remember. And I can remember like it was yesterday. And if you don't mind, tell everyone your story again. Okay, so I, <laughs> I was 15 years old and I was diagnosed with a rare form of stage three ovarian cancer. I overcame that and I decided, <laughs> yeah. thank you. I decided that I wanted to change my life, do something bigger. So shout out for AGT, of course.
with my head held high. This is my fire. It's good, good. Beautiful, right? How did that feel, Callie? It felt really good. It felt amazing. I mean, I could see that. I have never performed my own music on this scale before. Are you so this is an amazing opportunity. Yes. Well, yes. we're on it. Howie. Yeah, I think you're a great writer. I think you're a great singer. You sounded a little Halsey esque. Oh, I love her. Oh my gosh. You are a star. You mm -hmm. really are. And, you know, maybe it's because you've had such hurdles in your life. It, there's some depth to what you're doing and how you're performing and that kind of captures the audience, yeah. captured me, and hopefully it captures the super fans. I think you nailed it. I love the long pink hair. You have a different style going on. You seem super comfortable up there. You feel right at home up there. Thank you, I, I really do. I feel at home with the AGT fam, you know? I wish I could have showed you this film when we first met as to this is what's going to happen to you in a few years' time. You're going to come back on an All-Stars and you're going to be healthy and you're going to be brilliant and you're going to be a great songwriter, all those things, because that just happened. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You, you are AGT fam. Thank, Thank you, you for fam. being here. She looks like a star. Yeah, that was special. We are Light Balance Kids and we are from Ukraine. And we're finalists from season 14. <laughs> Could your families come with you or is it just you guys? Some of our parents, like my father, is still in the war in Ukraine. He's fighting for our country for independence. When AGT called us, we were so glad that we have a chance to dance together on one stage again and to show the world that light always wins. Yes. And we are going to show our spirit to win. I think you are unbelievably brave and you have our total respect. Thanks. Thank you so much. We're very grateful. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck.
and some old and some older people. Ah. Ah. <laughs> because of the situation on our country, some of them just haven't managed to come. Oh. So we ask that lay balance to help us. I don't know if you guys could see me, I was dancing right down here with all of you because this was such a fun party and it needs to be longer. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah. Simon, what did you think about what you just saw? Let me tell you something. It was your best performance you've ever done. Thank you. Really? By a mile? Absolutely. I mean, I cannot tell you how brilliant that was i mean you telling us your story on top of that makes it even more poignant what i'm about to say which is if anything defines an all-star it was that performance really thank you. thank you so much it's very important for us you've always been one of my favorite acts that i have seen in the history of america's got talent and there's such an amazing message here where you come from, at, at this point, it's arguably the darkest place in the world, and you come across the globe to bring us light. And if I can do anything, anything, on behalf of America, on behalf of AGT All-Stars, to bring you even more light than you brought us, I'd like to do that for you. I can see the stars I feel very nervous. Good. That means you care. Good. I do care. I really Good. do care. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. I grew up in America at a time that wasn't so bad. We were raised out in Steep Holler. Did the best with what we had. We had it all. Loving neighbors, land, and freedom. And that's what built me in my American pride. So I know that we can do this. Hold hands and step aside. American pride.
could just tell how much you want this and the energy coming off that stage. Everybody got out of their seats and that's saying something. I loved it. The fact that you sang that song again and we are living in the times we're living in, I felt like that was an anthem. Yeah. Yeah. Only five acts can go through yeah. and I want you to be one of them. But it's up to the voting audience. Chapel Heart, you are a fan favorite. You're one of my personal favorites. Love you, girls. I also love the way you look today. I know that he had nothing to do with that. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. This tonight was about redemption. And you know what? You absolutely nailed it. I've got to know the ladies pretty well. And I can tell you this. They are sincere. They've had not an easy time getting the Nashville to get behind them. But you've never given up. I just want to say thank you so much for, for seeing us and believing in us and believing in us enough for us to come back to do it again. And we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I, I really think, I really pray that the audience get behind you and put you through to the next round thank because you. you deserve it. Thank you so much. Wow, that was incredible. Oh my gosh, you were right again. I love them. Oh, that's Simon's dream team right there. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Yeah. Judges, join me on stage. Oh, no. Oh. People remember me getting a golden buzzer from Neil Patrick Harris. So to thank him, I gave him a bite of my sandwich. <laughs> Tonight I'm here to tell you, we're gonna make the greatest sandwich ever. Who's with me? We're starting with you, Harry. Okay. 12 toasters fully loaded, son. You're gonna pick up those dice. You can use one or two. Which uh, one do you want? I'll do one. Do one? One. Right. Roll those dice to choose a slice. Off you go. That's it. Where is it going to land on? Dun, 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 dun. Number one. <laughs> oh, bang. Number one. <laughs> Howie, back to your seat. We've got okay. white bread to start off with. Now we need a meat to go with the white bread, please. Simon, you're going to spin this wheel of meat. I hope you're not a vegan. This is quite heavy. Off you go. There you go, Simon. Come on. No, oh, look, you've broken it. Oh you literally broke it. I'll, I'll just be the little flappy thing. Okay, Simon, are you happy with tuna or do you want bacon? Tuna. 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 I'll do bacon. Give it up for Simon. Simon's back to his seat. <laughs> Heidi! Yes! Do you have a pen? No. <laughs> You're going to take the pen, please, Heidi. Yeah. You're going to write your name, Heidi, on the little stickers that say Heidi. Got it. Okay, that's yes. it. Heidi, please. Now, Heidi, yes. I'm also going to need a hair. The longest hair you can find, yeah? Just yeah. Uh, pull it out, please, Heidi. Yeah. Pull it out. Let's have a look at it. Oh! Yeah. Does that work? Oh, you've got a clump of them. That, yeah, that's... Yeah. Oh, my God. Is that OK? This, this is gross. you got a few little straggly ones there, didn't you? <laughs> now, let's get back to the sandwich and this cheese board. All right, pick up the darts. Give me your best shot, Heidi. OK, I hear something. Colby, Jack, give it up for Heidi. Back to your seat, Heidi. Pick up those rings, Melby. Face those vegetables. All right, if you like one, put a ring on it. Oh, 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 we're good. No, no, it's not going to bounce on the end. I... Oh! Chili. A chili. <laughs> give it up for Melby as Melby returns to her seat. And to choose our final topping, please welcome little Mr. Pivos. Oh. Look at him. He's still going. Jay, spin that turntable on toppings. Off you go. Mr. Pivos, stop one with the power of your mind. Anyone you want. Anyone you want, buddy, with the power of your mind. 
It looks like ketchup. We're going ketchup, that's it, perfect. Oh, lovely. We've got the tomato ketchup. We've got the chili. We've got the Colby Jack. We've got the white bread. And of course, we have the tuna, correct? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Is it just me? Or is there something missing? Hi, Piff. It's me. Inside the safe is my gift to you. The greatest sandwich of all time. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it, Piff. You've earned it. With much admiration, Neil, the Sandwich King, Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris put a sandwich in that safe. Terry? Yes, sir. Get out here. Give it yes, up for sir. Terry. Terry, we're going to lower that safe down. Joe, just do not take your eyes off of that safe. I'm not taking Terry, it off. Now, you notice it's a uh, lock with a combination lock. Okay. I believe the first number to be zero. All right. Try another, a second zero. Third zero. <laughs> Hang on, zero, zero, zero. Zero. Oh! oh bang! Yes. Got it first time. Yes. Terry, open up the safe. Is there a sandwich bag for me? Yes. You're going to reach into the bag. You're going to remove the sandwich that I'm praying is there. Okay. There it is. Oh, wow. Place this over here on my head. Oh, on there my head. it is. All right. Give it up for Terry. <laughs> I'm going to open up the sandwich. Is it me, Heidi? Is that white bread, like how we chose? Yes. It is? It is. OK. Simon, do you remember what you chose the oh, meat? Tuna. Tuna. Is that yes. tuna there, yeah. Heidi? Yeah. What kind of cheese is that? The cheese that I picked. Colby Jack. Yes. Mel P, look, what's that? Oh, what's that just there? Chilies. Chilies? Yes. Yeah. Chilies. What? Uh, Heidi, you're going to stick a finger in that. Mm, I don't know about Come that. Come on, Heidi, just stick a finger in okay, there. OK, it's all for you. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Lick it. Lick it. That's it, perfect. Perfect. Lick it. No. Is that ketchup? It is ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> I've got to test the sandwich. No. Yes. What is it? What is it? Uh, I think there's a little room. What? With the hand! No way! How did he do that? My name's Pimpsomania Dragon. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I don't think we're that. No idea. <laughs> Honestly, I have never seen Simon Cowell this gobsmack. You are gobsmack, yes or yes? Uh, seriously, yes. Uh, <laughs> you delivered, I think, the best overall performance I've seen from you. What? Maybe this is the year you are going to win. Possible. You didn't just say you want to win. You came with a winning performance. You really did. You really did. I believe in magic, so, so I'm I. trying to... I don't even want to know how you did it, because it's magic. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you, Mel. <laughs> I wish you good luck. I hope you will win it this time. We're going to win it, Heidi. You better win it. Simon, that was the best performance he's ever done. I totally agree. You should have used your buzzer. It's a strategy. I know it's what I'm doing. It's a bad strategy, Howie. Hello, hi, thank you. How is, how, is, how is everybody? Very good. I love per, per, per performing. Um, you know, some people, sometimes they find my stand-up to be a little, little, a little jarring because, uh, because, I, because I stutter, but I prefer to think that you're, you're getting the joke and, and, and also the, the remix. <laughs> <laughs> so, even if you hear a joke, that's, that's, that's not for you. You can be like, well, I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't like the lyrics to, to, to that one, but it, but it, but it had a good beat. <laughs> <laughs>
as if there is not enough wrong with with with, with my mouth i also wear um um um, um invisalign the the, uh, the the invisible braces yeah. or, or, or or as i like to call it a grill for for, for white people <laughs> uh, <laughs> just wrapping on, on 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 the hood of my prius <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, 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 I'm avocado toast um i don't know uh, what I realize is, is when you lose your Invisalign at, 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 say, like a restaurant, and you go back, you sound like a, a crazy person. <laughs> like, I went back to the restaurant, uh, and, 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 and in a frenzy, I said to the waitress, I was like, hi, hi, I, 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 I just ate here, and I, I think I lost my Invisalign. She's like, I didn't see you wearing a, a, a retainer. And I was like, well, you, you can't see it. <laughs> it, it it's invisible. Have you, have you seen it? <laughs> so glad you guys uh, got, got, got that joke, but uh, you know, even if you didn't, it, 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 it still had a good beat. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so, 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 so much. <laughs> Standing ovation. Yeah, that's that's a good sign. Mm. Yeah, for him, mm. not for us. Mm. <laughs> Drew, I'm really angry at you. I'm really angry at you. That was too short. <laughs> uh, I wanted more, more and more and more. You are so funny uh, and so quick. Uh, I just love you. I love everything about you. Uh, Heidi, what did you think? Well, there's only a few comedians that I really, really love, and you are definitely a one of them. I really, really love you. I mean, that was hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Simon, what did you think? For me, it wasn't the best performance we've seen you do, but you have inspired so many people, and you're a great guy, you're really funny, and I really respect you. So well done. <laughs> Thank you. Drew, I can't tell you how proud I am of you. You are not only a great entertainer, but a great spokesperson and a great example. And I gotta tell you something, you have grown by leaps and bounds and you are truly a professional, truly a champion. I hope that all the 50 states are looking at you because you surely deserve to be in the finals. I love you, buddy. Thank, thank, thank you, Howie. Thank, thank, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. Yeah, that makes me pop a belly I'd like to see him in the final. Yeah. Great job, Drew. We will see you later on. Wow. That's your golden buzzer. I know. He, uh, he Look away. That's an all-star. Sarah. Hi. You're back. <laughs> yeah, I am. I love this. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm really excited. Thank you. <laughs> Just remind me, how old are you? I'm 14. You're 14. <laughs> you are gutsy. I've got to hand it to you. Oh, my God. Thank you. You didn't win the show last year. You got close. How are you going to win this time? Because you, you know, don't like losing. I know that about oh you. Oh, my God. So I just think I, I'm a little bit more mature. And maybe this time you could actually win it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to really. I really want to win this show. And I just want to be a first AGC person who's going to win the Grammy. OK. Well, good luck. Thank you so much. Holding me back. I want you to hold out the palm of your hand. Why don't we leave it at that? Nothing to say when everything gets in the way. Seems you cannot be replaced. And I am the one who will stay. Oh, in this world, it's just a Say I
mouth that he's holding me back Why don't we leave it at that? Nothing left to say making and I have so much respect for you for coming back. I love your style. My daughter who just turned 13 is a huge fan of yours. I'm almost 50 and I'm a huge fan of yours. I think you're fantastic. Thank you so much. Sarah. The hard thing is, as an artist today, you've got to be able to tell your fans, the labels and particularly the writers, this is who I am. And the truth is, that's what you just did with that record, genuinely. I think this performance, I do believe you've just given yourself that break, Sarah. I really do. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much. Thank you. She reminds me of um, Camilla Cabea, you know, when I yes. first was in her. Go. Whatever she had, she just had something special. My best. Buddy Cody is back, and his wonderful mom, <laughs> Tina. How are you both? We're good, thank you. Um, uh, Tina, his mom, played me a song he'd written, and I loved this song. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And, uh, you know, you're gonna hear, I think, a very, very different Cody from what we're used to. Good luck. <laughs> Just remember what I said, Cody. You've got to imagine you're number one in the charts right now. <gasps> and you are performing this record. You're allowed to mentor her right up to I now. didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that we could go up on stage he and was, mentor. You didn't ask. <laughs> well...
feet left the ground Gravity don't make no sense when thoughts are wrong for the audience to calm down. I've already used my golden buzzer tonight and stolen one of your teams who are very happy to be on my team. So, Cody, if I had that second buzzer, I would be buzzing it right now. Yes. I'd send you straight through to the final round. Oh, my God. Well done, Cody. You're a legend. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. It's a different vibe that you're giving us, and I'm liking it. Love the song, love you, and that was perfection. Thank you. <laughs> Howie, I also am upset that I don't have a golden buzzer tonight because I would want to steal you so badly. <laughs> and tonight to hear what you can write, I, I don't think there's going to be a problem with this audience choosing one of the five. I think that's already just made their choice right now. That was amazing. <laughs> You know, Cody, you continually surprise us in a positive way. For you to come back and write yes. a song and perform a song which sounds current yeah. and relevant, and you performed it with such passion, um, it shows what a great, great, great artist and person you are. And I'm very proud to have you on my team. Thank you, Thank you so much. Well done, Cody. It's up to the audience voters to see if you get to the semifinals. All right, are you ready? Heck yeah. Good luck tonight, Darcy. Have a great one. Today, Darcy. I am so good, but really nervous. <laughs> oh, that's fine to be nervous. Well, welcome to Champions. You are a champion. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> now, why did you want to come back and do Champions? Well, I always love a good competition, but I missed being on AGT and maybe having a chance to have the world champion title just seems awesome. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, no pressure, but you're the first up, so let's set the standard. <laughs> Thank you. So, Oscar, are you, uh, are you a little nervous to be back on AGT? Um, yeah, a little. That's all right, it's gonna be so much fun. I mean, the crowd is here, the judges are here. It's, it's like we never left. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, Simon's even wearing the same clothes. <laughs> so, Oscar, how has your love life been since last year? Um, I'm not very good. All right, well, how about you wow all the ladies tonight with a killer song? All right, let's do it. Hit the music!
told the judges to stand up. This is a different Darcy Lynn than the Darcy Lynn who won America's <laughs> Got Talent two years ago. You walk out here like a seasoned professional, and you are the epitome of a dream coming true. Thank you. <laughs> well, I have to say, Oscar, you have won my heart with that. No way. And I really do hope the super fans vote for you tonight. I really yeah. do, because we've thoroughly enjoyed watching it tonight. So thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. you. I am so happy that you're back for America's Got Talent Champions, <laughs> because you're honestly one of the most unique talents. You really are so special. Thank you. I was literally blown away by that. <laughs> Apart from being so charming and funny, you've actually got this incredible singing voice. Thank you. But you've got this killer competitive instinct as well, and that's what makes you a star. There are only two spaces in the final, and I think you deserve to be the world champion. <laughs> Brilliant. Hello. So nice to see you again. How are you? I'm amazing. I'm freaking out. Look, we've invited back people who've won the show from all over the world, people like yourself who just needed that second opportunity. Yeah. Yeah? I'm here for it. I mean, everybody wants to win, but I feel like then I wasn't ready, and I feel like now I'm ready. I'm ready to go. And the song you're going to sing is? It's an original song called Something I Can Feel. Right, Mandy Harvey. Best of luck. Thank you. All right. She looks very confident. Remember yes. the first time we met her? She was really nervous. In my opinion, her songs were good, but she needs amazing. It is so sweet, and I don't know, I feel happy. It's just positive, just positivity is oozing out of you, and I love that about you. And you just sound great. What you do is so inspirational, so beautiful, and I wish you could hear how beautiful you sound. You know what, Mandy? I said before you came on, the one thing I really hope you come back with 
is a great song, Mandy. And I don't think that was a good song. I don't. I think it was a great song. When I'm tired, yes, thank you. Mandy, look, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think this was better than your first audition. Um, and, you know, I think what you do and the way you do it is unbelievable. Let's see what happens at the end of the evening. It's up to the super fans right now because they're going to pick one act to go through tonight, and I pray that it's you. You are awesome. I love her. She was. I hope the super fans vote for her. That's refreshing, <laughs> Heidi. Well, what you do is so innovative, and it is so fresh, literally every time when you come onto the stage. You are so good at what you do, and I love you guys. Thank you so much. When we decided to make this show, we called it Champions because we thought, how exciting would it be to put the best of the best from all around the world and put them into the ultimate competition. And you define why we did this show, because this was sensational. Thank you. There is no question of doubt, in my opinion, that if you had done that two years ago, this could have ended differently. I mean, this is gonna be one heck of a competition tonight. Remember, only two acts from tonight can go through, so congratulations and thanks for being here. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dustin's Dojo. I'm a trained black belt, learned to be a black belt at Roger Baker's Taekwondo Pizza, Pensacola, Florida. This is my friend Terry, I'm a sensei. This is my friend Topher, I'm his sensei too. For those that don't know, you were the very first golden buzzer ever in the history of America's Got Talent. Were they? Yeah. We got the very first golden buzzer. Did AGT change your life? Yeah, AGT really changed our life. We went to our county carnival, we got free ride wristbands, and we could ride as many rides as we wanted. 
All right, and do you think you're going to win? Yeah, I think we're going to win, especially when you see all of our new skills and abilities and you see my major stunt. That's why we wanted to come back, because we know you can make or break careers. And we know today you're making our career. Okay, good luck. I remember them because honestly, I feel like they're still wearing the same outfit from way back when. Today for our performance, we're gonna put on a karate exhibition and then I'm gonna do the most dangerous stunt ever seen on TV. I'm gonna start by breaking wood and doing karate combos. I'm gonna kick this apple off of Terry's head. Oh! <laughs> now I'm gonna show my agility and accuracy by hitting balls with nunchucks. The most dangerous stunt ever seen on TV. Cue the tension lock. Bring out the ring of fire. Do not try this at home. seem to enjoy it. What what talks? I actually have nothing to say. There's nothing to say. Heidi? See, I didn't get it many, many years ago when you performed. So I was like, okay, let me sit back, relax, enjoy this this time, maybe different differently than I'd done last time. But I still don't get it. It wasn't karate, it was karapi. I think it's pure comedy. I think it's silly, I think it's bad, I think it's atrocious. I would go see this movie. Thank you very much. What the bloody hell? Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Are you ready? I'm on standby, ready for the flight. Good luck, my love. I believe in you. I remember how it all started. Nearby, ready to help. 
light Zero hour, 9 a.m. On such a timeless flight Hi, Mom. I'm back. emotional artistry we just witnessed. Yeah. Heidi, what do you think? It's amazing how you create emotions with sand. Thank you. And how one morphs into the next piece of art. You are an amazing artist. Thank you, Heidi. Yeah. Mel. I don't know, I just, I was a bit lost at one point. But there's no denying that what you do is spectacular. It just didn't get me like it has done before. And I've seen you do your act before. I tell you what is amazing about your act. No one else in the world could do what you could do. No one. And you never know what the story is going to be or what's going to happen next. I mean, it's incredible. Thank you, Simon. With this particular show, it's really not up to us whether you move on. But I yeah. am so glad that you are part of my squad. And I think you're going to move on.
It is so everything. And I can feel how much you want to bring home that price. How much you really want it. Also a little bit of your country, which I love. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, you are a memorable group. You brought more energy. You brought more live music. You are the perfect act to have your own room in Vegas. I would imagine people would go and, and see this. I think the super fans are gonna love you. You just made their job so hard tonight to pick one act to go through. Woo. What did you think, Simon? I think this was perfection. Genuine. <laughs> Honestly, as good as I've ever, ever seen. This is the standard everyone has to be, in my opinion, right now. Honestly, you brought beyond your A game. I wish I could have given them a golden buzzer. I'm surprised Terry didn't. If I was Terry, I would have given that last act a golden buzzer. Oh, no question. Super fans, you gotta love this. You gotta love this. Tell me, when you were on AGT, did it change your life? Yeah, it did, because we had a live show in Las Vegas, and... They played Las Vegas? Yeah, and uh, movies being made on the journey of the Unbeatable Crew in India. Wow! Is it really? A movie being made on them. Movie! Can I ask a question? Do you think you're going to win this time? Yeah, we were very disappointed we couldn't get that title. But there's always a second chance in life, and we are hoping to get the champion's title and prove our talent that we are the champions. Good for you. Show us and show the world what the brilliance of Mumbai is. Do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm so excited for this. So much for bringing such a beautiful positive energy yes. to AGT champions that was absolutely outstanding we needed you tonight trust me every time you come out you do something more creative more interesting I think this act is gonna tour I think it's gonna live forever and I think 
This has probably been one of the best acts we've seen in Champions this year. I believe that. I love you and I love what you do and I love what it means to you. When you didn't win AGT, the disappointment you had, we felt like a knife going into our heart. But disappointment only lasts a moment. This is a moment. About this moment. Time stands still, and I'm feeling so much, and it's all right here. And I just gotta trust that you're the one. The time has come, so tell me, baby, what's it gonna take? We can be the champions. We can own the night. You have a chance of winning this now. You know that because yes. you deserve this. Christina, I mean, you've done so much since the show, but what's the unfinished business? to be a household, internationally known name. Yes, yes. And I want to be a, on the Super Bowl. I want to perform bigger stages. I want all of that. So that's why I'm here. Good for you. I love that. Thank you. Well, we all love that you're back. Good luck to you. Thank you. the nerves when she thinks, like as if she's still my golden bugger. Hold my hand, everything will be okay. I heard from the heavens the clouds have been gray. Pull me close, wrap me in your aching arms. I see that you're hurting. Why do you take so long to tell me you need me? I see that you're bleeding. You don't need to show me again. But if you decide to, I'll ride in this life with you. I will let go till the end. So proud tonight, but don't you let go of my head. You can cry every last day. I won't leave till. Christina, I remember your first audition vividly. I think it was sensational. You're such a talent. I think everything that's happened to you post this show is amazing. Thank you. And you deserve to be here. You deserve to be in the final. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think what you did tonight is really, really good and, and, and bordering on great. 
But this being AGT All-Stars, the bar keeps going up. And regardless of what you did with that song, I don't know that that's an out of the park song. I got you. And I think you got it. Well, it's just, I'm giving my opinion. It's not up to me. It is up to the super fans. They have to vote me through, man. Yes. Talk to them. You gotta vote me through. I know the golden buzzer is mine. But the thing is, I don't think you need, I don't think you almost need anyone to hold your hand this time around. You have so many Thank fans. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you will always have a super special place in my heart. It's an honor to have you on the stage again. It's an honor to be here. And you did fantastic. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. knock it out of the park. How do you feel right now? I'm just ready. I'm ready for that result that I got to the next. Dream Team Mel B, baby, it's time to roll. Let me tell you this. If you want to be great in this world, it's very simple. Surround yourself with great, great people. So I'm trying to be like all four of you. I guess if we're going to do a trick, if I'm trying to be like you, I thought, well, clearly we'll start with some wine glasses, apparently. So there we go. I also uh, I have a deck of cards. And these cards right here are in what's called new deck order, which means the cards are in order. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the uh, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 of spades. And I'm just gonna take them and set them in the wine glass right in front of you, Simon. I'm now gonna take the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I'm gonna walk these on down to Howie. Here you go, Howie. Take those cards, just shuffle them. Shuffle. Give them a quick mix. Take half those, okay, and hand them to Heidi. Yeah. Now both of you just kind of mix up the few cards you got. You can put some on the bottom, some on the top, some in the middle. Perfect. Howie, hand them on down to Heidi. All of them. Yeah. Okay. And if you want, you can give them a quick shuffle, or just pass them on down to Mel B. Here we go. All right. Shuffle them up. Do what you got to do. Look, I used to want to steal greatness from everybody around me, so that I can get accolades and awards, hit milestones in my career. What I realize is I'm a dad now. Now I'm trying to surround myself with greatness so that I can take it home and share it with my little girl. Be the dad I never had, be the best dad I can possibly be. So, Mel B, take those cards and hand them to Simon. Simon, you're the last one. You're gonna take if you put it on the bottom, cut them, shuffle them, do nothing. This is up to you. You feel good? I'll take them. You happy? You good? Here are the diamonds that you all mixed up. And you know what? I'm gonna put these right here. Um, yeah, yeah. Simon, I'm, I'm gonna take these and I'm actually gonna spread them out so you can see the order that you shuffled them in. I'm gonna take my finger and just run it across the deck. Simon, just yell out the word stop. So I'm gonna go straight down. Yeah. Right here. We got a four diamonds and I'm gonna reverse it. Stick it in the deck just like that. Square it up. And these cards are gonna go right here in this wine glass just like that. If I'm trying to be just like you, if you shuffle the six, I guess all I gotta do is find myself a six. But you all shuffled these cards. When I walked out here, I said, I'm trying to be like every one of you. So if you all shuffle the three, I guess I'm gonna find my three. You want an eight? There's my eight. You want a five, there's That's my five. Crazy. You want a seven, there's the seven. Man, surround yourself with greatness. Give the world everything you got. Simon, you picked one card and one card only. You could have said stop anywhere. You wanted a four of diamonds. Right in front of you, I thought, what the heck? Simon, there's my four. There's the tens. There's the aces. There's the nines. Man, it's a great day to decide to be happy, baby. My name's John Dornbos. Peace out. I love you, man. I love you. Mel B chose wisely. Thank you. I tell you what, John, what you reminded me of is it's not just enough to have talent. You've got to have personality. Yes. You've always been an amazing performer. Compared to when I first saw your audition to now, this was you at your very best. 
Love you. Who you really are and the hurdles that you have gone through in life and what you have created for yourself and your family and that little girl out there, you are truly a champion. Thank you. I love you too. And I'm also very, very mad that you're not on my team. And usually Simon hates card tricks. And not tonight, it seems no. like. No. Not tonight. I, I now love it again. Can I say, you're just incredible. Thank you for being part of my dream Thank team. You. Yes. Rock on. Thanks for having me. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, John. He's such a great guy. Uh, uh, uh. Why did you not push the golden buzzer? Because I think it's too early in the night, and I believe that he's so likable that they're going to vote for him anyway. So do I. I my name is Fly J. I'm 18. I'm from a small town, Savannah, Georgia. How old were you when you uh, came on the show? I was 14. 14, that's what I thought. And you were very young at the time, so that must have been a lot of pressure. Uh, it was definitely a lot of pressure, but I feel like pressure either break pipes or it make diamonds, and I like diamonds. <laughs> Good luck. Let's do it. You nervous, mama? No, not nervous at all. You're not nervous at all? I create a beast. You... Whoa. All right, here we go. Look, it's crazy. I'm the one they want to represent. Young black girl, I could probably be the president. I'm the voice of the youth. You hear my tone, I think it's evident. I know who I am. They mistake my confidence for arrogance. I, I think it's different, because I don't take my clothes off. I just play my role, dawg. I can't sell my soul, y'all. I just shoot a three, put my arm up. I guess I show off. They sleep, I let them doze off. Wake them up, oh yeah, it's OK. My chocolate is beautiful. I'm rocking it per usual. I'm loving every piece, man, from my top into my cuticles. Trying to play with my head. Real love won't be confusing. You I learn, make sure the one you put in first is also choosing you, man. Life is so crazy, many lessons and blessings. I'm steady stressing perfection. I keep neglecting my ethics. So much text in the message, trying to lessen my stressing. Finally understand my power, my presence is essence. They killed my daddy while my mama was pregnant. How I'm supposed to feel? And they took my grandma child from her. How she supposed to heal? And we out here starving, ain't got nothing. How we supposed to give? Seem like the system they set us up in. We supposed to feel ready or not, man. It's my time now. I done gave it everything I got. It's time to shine now. They done blew the whistle in my foot across the line now. Clock is ticking down, ain't got no 30 second time out for real though. I know I done made it, I don't seek an applause. I vow to never waste my voice if I don't speak for a cause. I reminisce, man, I just think and I pause. My woman told me you keep shooting for the moon, you will have a seat with them stars. And I'm like, ready or not, here I come. You can't hide, what? I'm gonna, hey, sing it with me, AGT. I'm gonna I see you and take it slow Look though, I'm trying to leave it better than I found it Oh, I found I'm trying to leave it better than I found it Oh, no, no, oh, look And it's too late to save us, we gotta save these kids It's too late to save us, we gotta save these kids Whoa <laughs> to be reckoned with. You're incredibly talented. You are a poet. You are a songstress. You are an entertainer. And as far as AGT All-Stars go, you, at this moment, are my MVP. Jay, I felt very emotional during that. You know, you were 14 when you first came on this show. And you came back so much better than you were before now. I mean, there's no yeah. question about it. You're already a star, and now you're an all-star, and now you're going to be a bigger star, and I feel very proud. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. I'm so happy to see you all. Tell the people here, tell them everything. My name is Jimmy Harad. 
And uh, I had an amazing, amazing opportunity to be on America's Got Talent season 16, and it's completely changed my life. Yeah, amazing. Well, I remember the last time you fell in love with your least favorite song. I, I know, you absolutely turned it around. Take the weight off my shoulders If it was ever hard to move She'd turn a rain to a rainbow When I was living in the blue Oh, why then if she's so perfect Do I still wish that it was you? No, perfect don't mean that it's working What can I do? When you're out of sight in my mind Cause sometimes I look in her eyes And that's where I find a glimpse of us And I try to fall for a touch But I'm thinking of the way
That was one of the most athletic things I have ever seen in my entire life. I mean, we get dizzy just watching you do this. Mel, what did you think? Well, I did think in the very beginning, oh my gosh, there's no bow and arrow, and I kind of started to miss what I've seen you do before. But let me tell you, you gave us a whole different act that was even better and even more exciting and even more dramatic. Thank you so much. Well done, Sophie. Thank you. Sophie, I think that you are absolutely amazing. You know, you're only 17 years old. You're so poised, you're so together at your age because you have to rehearse and work on this craft so hard every single day to be as good as you are. And you really brought your A game today, so well done. Good luck. Thank you so much. Simon, what did you think? That was incredible. And I mean incredible. Thank you. We chose you because we always had this feeling about you, there was more to go. And this was by far the best performance we've ever seen from you. Well, thank you so much. That was unbelievable. Uh, thank you so much. Good luck. Good thank luck. you. Well done. I mean, you had to be going at least 65 miles an hour. That was crazy. Yeah, um, it was probably the fastest I've ever spun. A lot of people are rising to the title of this show. This is Champions. I love her. Baby. Sal, my golden boy. I don't know if you guys remember, but Sal was my golden buzzer. Yes. That was two years ago. And I love you so much. Heidi, I love you. No, I love you more. And now you have the chance to be the champion. The champion of champions. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. Let's do it, Sal. Good luck. Let's do it. Sal Valentinetti, I love this guy. I want to go to Sunday dinner at Sal Valentinetti's house. Oh, the shark has, he has pretty deep deal. And he shows them, them pearly whites. Just a jackknife has old Mackie, babe. And he keeps it, he keeps it out of sight. Woo. Now on the sidewalk, one Sunday morning, lies somebody, somebody oozing life. But someone sneaking, coming round that corner. Could that, should that? Would that be Mac the Knife? There's a tugboat down on the river going slow With a cement bag just sinking on down Oh, that cement is there, it's there for the weight, dear Five will get you ten, place your bets, Maggie's back in town We got Simon Cow. Mr. Howie Mandel, how you doing, Heidi Blue? And Miss Melanie Brown, and Terry Crews, stands Campbell left there. And now that Maggie's, oh, Maggie's back in town. Can one guy be? I kissed her. Whoa! I mean, you are just so cute. Oh. I mean, you really are. You know, I was lucky enough to go see Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. And you're not just trying to do it, you are it. And you're genuine and authentic and real. I love what you're doing. Howie, thank you. You're welcome, buddy. 
You know what? You just lit up this whole entire yeah. room. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Thank you. Simon! I am slightly starstruck. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Ah! Yeah, I am. Love you, Simon. I mean, seriously, it was fantastic. Thank you, that's tremendous. You have so much charm, so much pizzazz, and I just love your voice, and I just love you so very much. And I hope that the 50 states are going to vote for you. Thank you, and God bless. Ain't that a kick in the head? You came to win today. Hell okay. yeah. Listen, we gotta hang. We I gotta hang. Listen, I'm going to Sunday dinner at your house. You better be Didn't know that I'd fought so hard That my feet left the ground Gravity don't make no sense when you're around I come up against myself when Demons in my head get loud I don't know how you do it But you turn them down I simply wonder who I'd be If I never found you And you never found me Well, I don't want to see So won't you give me tonight And the rest of your life I wanna have it all with you go to pieces far between thunder clouds I will put you back together I won't let you down I simply wonder what I do if you never found me and I never found you I don't know what I do so won't you give me tonight and the rest of your life I want to have it all with you I want to have it all with you Before the first audition, Mr. Pibbles and I, in 2013, we left England and we moved to Las Vegas. I spent a year looking for work, nothing, a whole year. I applied for America's Got Talent, didn't hear for a while. I was about to give up, and the day before I went back to England, I get the call. I do the audition, they get all the way to the finals of America's Got Talent, I lost. You know what happened the next day? I flew back to Las Vegas. Mr. Pivels and I, we got our own show at no the Flamingo. Yeah, at the Flamingo of Las Vegas. Mr. Pivels and I have been there to this day, and they just renamed that theater the Piftle Magic Dragon Theater. No way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty amazing story, isn't it? Yeah, that it's is. Amazing. I like that. I like that. He a was lot. giving up. He was heading home. I know. Hiding! Yes! 
Join me on stage, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Stand there, face the front. Perfect, Heidi. Hold it, your hands like this. Hands like this. Lovely, Heidi. Does uh, that ring come off? Yes. All right, great. Heidi, you're going to place that ring on this little spoon over here. Where'd you get the ring from, Heidi? You know, something I picked up along the way. You bought it yourself? I did. <laughs> Heidi, Mr. Piffles would like to offer you a complimentary ring cleaning service. Would you like that? I would love it. It's very good. He's been cleaning his own ring for years. Oh, gosh. We've got his favorite little treat over here. Oh, look what we got for you, buddy. Yeah, prime steak. Heidi, we're going to place the uh, food on top of your ring just over there. We're going to mush it in. Mushy, 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 mushy. This is for you, Heidi. That's right, you're going to feed Mr. Piffles. Oh, you take that. Like that. Come on. Now, Heidi, Mr. Piffles is going to lick all of the food okay. off of your ring, yep. leaving it as gleaming as the day that you bought it for yourself. There we go. Now, Mr. Piffles is a true professional at this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, it's look. quite stunning to see how it can return the no, He shine. just ate the whole thing what? just then. He just swallowed the what whole... Do you mean he, swallowed? he took it all at once. He swallowed the ring. Oh, no. OK, uh, Heidi, he's doing more of a deep clean. <laughs> Oh, All right, Heidi, you take this, I'll take this. Here's the deal, we are going to get your ring back at all costs, Heidi. Oh, look what we got for you, buddy. Oh, yum, 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 yum. That's right. Now, Heidi, we just fed Mr. Pibbles a high-strength laxative. So any minute now, he's going to go off like the Bellagio fountains. OK, you're going to hold Mr. Pibbles out in front of you oh, like this. Gosh. Hold Mr. Oh, perfect, perfect. Come on, buddy. Oh, I think he's a bit congested, Heidi. On the count of three, give him a squeeze. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, lovely! Good job, buddy. Good job. Heidi, you're gonna... There's no good way to say this, Heidi. You're gonna reach into the bag, Heidi. You're gonna reach into that bag, Heidi. Come on, Heidi, reach into the bag, Heidi. It's an egg! <laughs> Let's walk, Heidi. Let's walk. We're gonna go and say hi to Simon. Now, in your hands, Heidi, you have a genuine tiny dragon egg. Is that correct? Yep. It looks like an egg, it smells like an egg, it even walks like an egg. Stand here, show the egg to Simon. Don't move. Don't. Don't. Don't, at me. Don't. Don't ruin my life, Heidi. <laughs> Heidi, I'd like to crack the egg into the glass, please. Crack the egg into the glass. Crack, crack, crack. That's it, very good. Yeah, lovely, Heidi. I'm going to take the shell from you. <laughs> and it vanishes. <laughs> Heidi, you're going to into the yolk. You feel that? Yes. Take it out. Oh, my. Oh, Heidi's ring! <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> You're truly brilliant, and I'll tell you, if you don't come in number one tonight, no pun intended, there's a good chance you might be number two. <laughs> Heidi, what did you think of the act? I love you, Piff, I really do. What I love also about you is that you have not become all, like, Hollywood on us. Sorry, I just... Just give me a second, Heidi. Hang on. This image right here says, down earth, same old, same Humble, old. Humble, Howie. Humble. Yeah, I want to thank you for something, because you have been one of the best ambassadors for the show to give people trust to come on the show. So I owe you a lot. Well, thank you. Wow. Yes. Look, I know most people know who you are, but tell everyone your name, where you're from, and how old you are. My name is Tyler Butler Figueroa, and I'm 12 years old, and I'm from North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> and Tyler, you had a pretty amazing year last year, didn't you? I got the golden buzzer from Simon, and I feel like that was amazing because Simon is really a hard judge to impress. Good for you. Um, and uh, how are you feeling? Is everything okay? Yes, I've been in remission from cancer for four years.
Uh, Howie. Oh, my God. You are amazing, and I'm a huge fan of what you can do. You're so authentic, and you're so wonderful. I believe the super fans are going to love you. <laughs> Thank you. You're a great guy. And you know what? I did that dance on TikTok. I did. Did you do it as well as Tyler? I think I did it better. <laughs> Alicia, what did you think? This is the first time you've seen Tyler live. I think Tyler put a little swag on that violin playing. Thank Your you. musicality is absolutely fantastic. Yep. Thank that you. That really shines. Everything about this act makes me feel so good. Yes. You nailed it. That was wonderful. Thank you. Uh, what did you think, Heidi? I thought it was adorable. You're obviously really good at playing the violin. Yes, dancing while playing is even better. I loved it. Job well done. Good luck to you today. Thank you. What you reminded me uh, with that performance is just how good you are. And you are an extraordinary young man. And I'm so happy the performance went great tonight. You are a champion, so let's hope the fans put you through where you belong, which is the semi-finals. Thank you. Well done. only yesterday that I was doing season 10 and I have to say it's just lovely to be back it really is the fact that you won and you've come back to compete again I mean respect thank you well I believe that I've uh, I've got more to show you good and I want to do something tonight that I don't think it's ever been done before uh, with a ventriloquist act oh we wow. love that you know ventriloquism it's an amazing thing, and I love being able to do it because everything in everyday life now talks. All over the world, you have the talking elevator. I like to go into an elevator that doesn't talk and pretend it does. And the busier the elevator, the better. In I go. Doors closing. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Going up. Get out, fatty, you're too heavy. <laughs> and this is my favourite bit. Cable detaching. You know, being a ventriloquist, you can also have a lot of fun if you get yourself a puppet. Zadon! Speak of the devil, would you like to meet my friend? Yeah! yeah. Then please welcome back my friend, Sam. Oh, we love Sam. You want your Sam. Woohoo! Hello! Hi! I said hello! Well, this is fantastic. Where, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are you? Well, we're on America's Got Talent. Yes, America. Wait a minute. What? We won America's Got Talent. That's right, and we're back. We're doing it again? Yes. What the hell went wrong? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the champions. The champions, yes. Oh, you better have something special, Zerdin. I think I have. You know how he always says, you've got to up your game. Yes, that's right. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, I think I've got something very special. Yes? Yes, I've got a little ditty. <laughs> Should they know this? It's, it's not what you think. Just watch. What, your ditty? No. <laughs> Watch my face. Here we go. <clears throat> Too close. Here we go. That's great. They love that. Wait. <laughs> I'm not finished yet. No. No, what I want you to do is to hum the ditty. I don't want to. <laughs> Just do it. Oh, all right. <clears throat> it's not working. Wait. What we do now, okay, while you do that, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna do a beatbox drum beat. A what? A beatbox drum beat. So I'm gonna go. Okay, and we're gonna do it at the same time. Whoa. Wow. Um, Zerdin? Yeah. Can I have a word? <laughs> what? We're not gonna do it together. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? Because it's not possible. I, I believe it is. You're an idiot. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this. I'll start. You follow. Okay, here we go. <clears throat>
Thank you so much. Good night. Standing O, incredible. That's why he won the first time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Howie. Pa, you know, uh, ventriloquists have done very good on America's Got Talent. I've noticed. <laughs> but you have a uniqueness in the sense where you take the art of ventriloquism and play with that art form. And I love it. You make it funny. You are smooth. You are a winner. And I wish you the best of luck on this. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing up. We really appreciate Thank it. You're a champion. Heidi. Your act is absolutely seamless. It shows so much personality, and sometimes I wonder if you're a ventriloquist or if you're a magician. Yeah. You really have me laughing, and everyone in here laughing, and we need to laugh more, so thank you for that. Thank you. Paul, um, obviously I wasn't on the show, but I watched the show that year. That was original, it was funny, but I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think this was a progression up from where you were before. Come on, you try and do that. I do. I do. I do. Oh, man. Ooh. Very entertaining. Thank you. We'll see you a little bit later. Actually speechless. Yes! I mean, seriously, speechless. This was just magic. Absolute creative magic. It's one of the best things. I'm actually quite emotional. You know, that radiated more than just music and song and dance. It was emotion and passion. It was exciting. It was thrilling. And exactly what AGT All-Star needs to be. This is the, the competition of champions. And that was a championship performance. It really was. Well, you know, some choirs can be a little on the snoozy side, but not you guys. <laughs> Not you guys!
Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you just mashed that song up, like, and you just spat out a whole new thing, which was incredible. I tell you what, we all need a Mr. White in our lives. Yes! Yo, 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 stop! Stop! We don't need to go to the super fan vote on this one. <laughs> Mr. White, you have changed the lives of thousands of young men and women all over for what you have done for the city of Detroit. For what you have done in this world, one golden buzzer is not enough! America's Got Talent. We were on America's Got Talent season 10. Right. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. How far did you get that year on the show? We actually got only to quarterfinals. Did something go wrong or...? Yes, I think we didn't achieve the same level on our second performance that we did on our first performance. Simon has a lot of expectations tonight. Yeah, man. Pretty amazing. Yeah. I think they're amazing. You're a dancer. You'll love this. Okay, good. I'm excited. Simon, I'm going to allow you to go first. Go ahead. Look, can I be honest with you? I didn't get it. Oh. Sorry, can I talk? No, I think that technically great, uh, but I thought he was boring. Um, that was not boring. It is boring. And 
I don't think you've caught up with technology. I think that's the problem. Are you kidding me? Yep. Here's the beauty. You are a champion. You deserve to be here. They're not a we... champion. They are. The point was we wanted them back to be better. I wanted them to be better. Well, I thought it was beautiful. I think it's amazing. I thought, I thought it was beautiful too. I enjoy this. What did you see, Alicia? I see a party pooper on the end. Yeah! <laughs> Let's bring the mood down. Do you know what? I think you can overthink these things. I just took it as a beautiful piece of art. It was executed well. Yes, thank you. It takes work to make that look yeah. as seamless as you did, and I appreciated it, so well done. Thank you. All right, you know what? It's not up to us. Four acts are going through. It's up to the super fans. Hopefully, they get it, and we get to see exactly, more of you. Thank yes. you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thankfully, we have the super fans to judge this. That was absolutely beautiful. It was artistic. It was wonderful. So, yeah, I prepared to win. I'll show you that today. This is my golden buzzer. How does that feel, Brandon? All your performances were without an audience. Y'all yeah. tell me, how's it feel, baby? It feels about that good. Yeah, <laughs> and you are that good. How, how old are you now? I'm a big 3-0 now, and I got two beautiful kids. Yeah! So, yeah. Did your life change after AGT? Oh, without question, you know, just my opportunities. You know, leaving a stage like this, the America's largest stage, it, it provides doors that I never had before. You know, what I've been doing recently is helping the 12 schools in my city, and we're publishing wow. 6,000 kids this year. That's amazing. You, uh, and, and what is the dream? Like, why even come back? Oh, man, well, my biggest dream is to help elevate spoken word to a point where the people see it just as normally as every other art form. You know what? I feel like on that same year that you won, I think that young girl who performed at the inauguration... Amanda Gorman. Yes. I think that you opened the door for 100%. moments like that. And I cannot wait to see what you have in store next. Thank you. While on a walk, I saw a transient man standing on the corner. And immediately, I reached into my pocket. Not so I could grab money or anything like that, but so I could get my phone, you know, so I could fake text or pretend like I was listening to music because I figured my persistence to keep my distance would make it hurt less when I ignored his existence. It, at least for me, anyway. But then suddenly, a very peculiar smell emanating from the man invaded my nostrils. It, it reminded me of all the things that our culture deems worthy of throwing away. And the irony is that's the same way that we would treat him. But then inside my soul, something said, Brandon, put your pride aside and go talk to that man. So I did. I asked if he could share with me a bit of his story. All he could do was say, glory, hallelujah, of course I can. He told me of a man who had everything. The people bowed down at his feet, and they allowed their praises to raise his stature to nothing less than God reincarnated in human flesh. Where I'm from, that's the Pharaoh complex, I'm pretty sure, but... You see, the issue with towering above all has never been that climb up, but that cataclysmic fall back down to humility in which most don't survive. And I imagine him losing everything. And he told me, young man, don't be foolish. The reality is that I woke up and realized that your life only works when your life's work is worth your life. And I realized my life's work was worthless, worthless. And this broke me. It broke me to see my reflection splintered, broken, barren. So I grabbed everything I could fit into these bare hands and I ran and I ran till I couldn't run no more. It all seemed so real to him. You could see it ruminating in his eyes again and again. And he stopped my train of thought saying, young man, do you know why I smell like this? He said, I smell like this to remind myself that self-sufficiency will no longer keep me clean because do you know why you wear those clothes? Is it simply to look appealing or to hide the fact that you're healing? Never in a million years did I think I'd take hygiene tips from a guy like this. But I did. And the craziest part is, as all these cars drove by, I wonder which one of us they thought was clean. 
So I guess the moral of the story is you can never judge a book by its cover. I'll never forget, I mean, I remember watching that vinyl and I, and I never forget when, who's that? My daughter's over there. Say hi, Dada. Oh, hello. Hi, hi Dada. Can she come up? Of course. Yeah. Come on, Boo-Boo. Okay. <laughs> Here, Boo-Boo. She's so cute. Brandon, what's her name? Her name is Aaliyah. Aaliyah, hello. <laughs> She's taking away the limelight from me, Brandon. <laughs> Every day of my life. <laughs> She's so cute. No, I was going to say, I remember that night. You know, I, I never in my wildest dreams would have thought someone with an act like yours could win AGT. But you won it because of obviously what you say, but also it's the way you deliver everything. I mean, you are brilliant. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant. When you speak, because you talk about different things that we all deal with in life, you definitely evoke these kind of emotions in me, and I'm sure in so many other people that hear you speak, and you're special. Thank you. Thank you. You really are, Brandon. I, I think that you're doing exactly what it is you want to do, and that is moving people. And your words are so poetic, so in the moment. We're not only enjoying your performance, but the message is so clear and thank you for moving us. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you guys so much. Well done, Brandon. That was really special. He is special. I'm so proud of you. He is so good. I know you want to get back to mommy. He's like a star. I have to like fight with tears when he speaks. He was good. He was good. Yeah, baby! Thank you! Man. What's going on, baby? Oh, man. It is good to be here on the wild card, baby. It's time to have some fun. Let me tell you. All right, here's the deal. I got four chalkboards. They're numbered one, two, three, and four. Now, Simon, Heidi, Mel, Howie, you guys are going to choose which chalkboard is going to represent you guys. So, hey, you don't know what's behind there. I've drawn something and I've written some stuff on each one. We're going to get to it in a little bit. So, Simon, well, you want to see number one? Okay, number one it is. <laughs> Simon, number one. Heidi, guess what? Same thing. Do you want two, three, I, or four? Yeah, I would like to be the number two then. Number two it is. <laughs> you guys are making this easy on me. Mel B, three or four? I will go for the number three. Threes it is. Mel B. Oh, I know what I want to be. Howie, my man, number four. Now, you guys had a free choice. This is what I love about this show. This show changed my life. Howie, you've toured the country, man. You've toured the world. You've sold out venues all over the place. Right. And I want to be just like you. So I actually got cities off of your tour schedule. So here's a bunch of cities and states of places that you've performed that I want to perform one day. OK. So we're going to pick one right now. When I riffle, say stop. Are you ready? Yes. Say stop. Stop riffling. You want to keep going or do you want that? No, I want to stop. Are you sure? I really need to stop. Okay, hey. Here you go. Don't look at it. Okay. Slide it out. Keep okay. it right there. All right. I started AGT doing a card trick. So Mel B, we're going to do just that. I'm going to do a card trick. I'm going to make okay. it really simple on you. All you're going to do is as I riffle through here, all you got to do is say stop. Are you ready? So just say stop. Stop. Right here. Watch carefully. I'm going to rip a corner. Like so. Queen of hearts. Hold on the queen mill. Heidi, let me see your hand. It's when you take the corner that that corner disappears, just like that, gone. Now there's a stack of pictures that have been sitting right here. I haven't touched them, I haven't come close to them. Nope. Why don't we pick up all those pictures and see if there's something underneath right there. Pick up everything? Pick them all up. You're gonna find one thing. Oh. There's a corner to a card right there. Now hold on, Mel B, take that corner. Make sure it fits perfect right there. I, I don't wanna touch it. it. Get it, get She's it. She's got nails. Howie to the rescue. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Make sure it fits perfect yes, right there. And does. that is, in fact, the corner. Now, Heidi, I love this. 
Heidi, your whole career, you've done outrageous. What is this? <laughs> what My, is that? Well, I'm a witch, obviously. Wait, and Halloween, you go over the top. But <laughs> these are pictures of you, whether it's Halloween, whether it's red carpets. It's just all the cool events that you've been able to go to. Yeah. And guess what? You're going to do the same thing Howie did. All you're going to do, as I riffle, is just say stop. Just light my head in it? If Whatever you want. All righty. I'm Riddle ready when it. you are. Whoop. Okay, don't look at it. Not Slide looking. it over just like this. Simon, I got a deck of cards here. All you got to do is just touch one. Just touch it. Now look, hold on. I'm going to give you the opportunity. Do you want to keep this one or do you want to change your mind? I'll keep it. Are you sure? Yeah. Remember this moment. I'm giving you a chance to change your mind. No, I'm going to keep it. Here it is. Thank Take you. it and look at it if you want. Howie, what did you pick? What this Turn is. it over. Can Show I... everybody what it is. You and I are going somewhere, buddy. And exactly. where is it? Tulsa, Oklahoma. There it is. Let me see it. Tulsa, Oklahoma. The judges had a free choice of whatever chalkboard they wanted. Hey, Terry, can you do me a favor? There's a, a chalkboard with uh, Howie's face on there. Why don't you go ahead and turn that chalkboard around for me, man? Because I drew something on that no, chalkboard. How you and I are going to Tulsa, Oklahoma. No. No. You could have selected any card you wanted to. You chose the Queen of Hearts. Terry, spin that thing around for me. I had a premonition that not only would she choose that chalkboard, but you were going to pick a Queen of Hearts. That's crazy. Heidi. How is that even yes. possible? You've done a lot of cool things in your career. What did you do today with that picture? I was a schmetterling for is Halloween. That? I was what? a butterfly for that's Halloween. A, that's a butterfly? Yeah. That's amazing. You chose number two. Terry, do me a favor. Turn over number two. I made a prediction and drew a picture before the show that you were going to be a butterfly. Now, hold on, we got one left. We got one left. Simon, I told you there was a defining moment when you could have changed your mind and you said, no. Yeah. You picked a card. I did. What do you got? I three of clubs. Three you clubs. had the first choice. You could have chosen any chalkboard you wanted, one, two, three, or four. My man went with number one. I wrote a card down on the back of that chalkboard. Terry, let me see it, my man. All right. Turn that around. That there's the three of clubs. But in the quarterfinals of America's Got Talent, I had a huge map on that stage. Roll that clip. No. Just like that, Howie, in season 11, you chose Oklahoma, That's Oklahoma. just like you did today. How is that possible? Mel B, you chose any card you wanted to, and you chose a heart. Hearts follow you everywhere you go, because in the first round of America's Got Talent, the champions, I asked the audience to write words of what described a champion. You could have chosen any word you wanted to. You selected whatever word you wanted, and lo and behold, the word you chose, heart. Predicted back then, and there's your heart. Now, Heidi. My God. I believe it was the semifinal, season 11. I sat up here and I had all you guys think of whatever you wanted, and you could draw whatever you want. And in season 11, I made a prediction that today, you'd go back to that Halloween party as a butterfly, right there. You drew a butterfly. Oh. Now hold on. The moment it comes down to, I wanted to end my journey the same way I started. Because in season 11, when he just thought of any card he wanted to, my man Simon picked a three of clubs right there just like he picked no. today. And I ended the same way I started with Simon Cowell holding awesome. the three of clubs. My name's John Dornboss, baby. It's a great day to be alive. Peace out. I love every single one of you. Thank you guys, my man. John Dorn Boss! Come up here, man. Wow! Heidi, yes. your thoughts. I mean, you are multi-talented. You really, really are. I mean, you speak from the heart and you boost our spirit every time when you come onto the stage. You're so entertaining, you're so good. Simon. You've come back and just blown the roof off with what I've just seen. Yes. I mean, genuinely, I'm not just saying that, John. We're not voting, the 50 states are voting. You have a shot. Thank you. I and mean, that was amazing. Thank you. I mean, purely fantastic. Yeah, awesome, man. Howie, your thoughts? Oh, my gosh. I'm, 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 like, just stunned. I really am. There are only two words to describe what you did tonight, and that is wild card. My gosh. You are a champ. I'll take you, baby. <laughs> Now, John, being a wild card tonight, how do you feel about coming back? Let me tell you, I'm going to share something with you guys for the first time, because my wife and I haven't told anybody. And before this show, a few days ago, magic happened. We got a bun in the oven, and this guy right here is about to be a dad. 
Yeah. And my wife's out there, baby. I love you. And a little dorm boss is going to be running around here, so take cover. <laughs> well, good luck tonight, John. Thank you. Please give it up for John Dornball. Let's go, meet again. I'm literally spinning. Oh, look at up. High five, y'all. How many members are in the choir? We have 72. 72? Hello. Hello. I remember you. You are... We are Voices of Hope Children's Choir, and we're from Orange County, California. Yeah. Wow. I believe somebody on this panel wasn't very positive towards you. Who was that? Hi. Well, no, no, it was no, a time in my life when I had no hope. <laughs> You didn't love us last time, but you're going to love us this time. You're going to see I feel it. how united I we will. are. And you're going to be on your feet by the time this number's done. <laughs> Do you prefer working on America's Got Talent or Modern Family? Ooh, that's a good one. America's Got Talent. Wendy? That is true. That's true! Yes! Okay, there's really many <laughs> questions already. Do you see anybody in the audience tonight that you're interested in? Someone here who um, on the internet, David Vaughn. He wants to know, Terry, I need you to do a spin around for me so I can admire that suit. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, there check it, it out. Is. I have one too. Uh, Nicole from Ohio has made a shocking observation. Take a look. What is it? What? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole. Simon, what do you think of that, man? Nicole, oh. that is spot on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, OK. Look, as we all know by now, very occasionally, the judges disagree on something. Heidi, do, do those hand binoculars actually work? Well, my hand binoculars, they're just to cut out the light. So sometimes, if they're up in the air and I can't see them well, I cut the light like this. I do have glasses, but I'm too vain Let's see to this. wear them. <laughs> so I have glasses. Yeah. Hey, can you see now? Is that, is, with, with no, the... it's all good. It's all nice and fuzzy. No, this no, is I, You might want to wear glasses, them when you're judging. I'll give you That's a deal real. Like see, I wear. See, I don't know if I look <laughs> so good in glasses. I, yeah, anyway. I now, <laughs> Sophia, after Aaron flirted with you on the show last night, we got a lot of questions asking what you're looking for in a partner. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Well, I think what every girl wants someone. I am taken. <laughs> someone healthy, yeah. someone handsome. Someone that um, has a great sense of humor. I'm married! <laughs> Someone that is happy with himself. That's it. Okay, okay. I'm married! Oh, he's married. Oh, he's married. All right. So that's, that's me, Sonny Chatham. Yes. And that's the crowd loving me. <laughs> and you're loving me, aren't you? Aren't you? You're loving me. That's my Grammy. I think we need to move on to the performance now, Sonny. Okay, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry. No, we got it. We got it. It's all good. Sophia, I want you to know, I, I have a lady friend already, so it's not, it's not romantic, my intentions, oh. but I, I just wanted to meet you and say, hi, I'm Sonny, and I just, I just respect you so much. And you're, Thank you, Sonny. You're just a strong woman, and... Can I say hi to my lady friend, P? No, hey, 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 is there a song? Hi, P, hi, P, I love you. Who? 
I love you. Yeah, we don't have time. Stand up, P. I don't want to see P. Where's P? She's not here. She's taking care of her mother. She couldn't come tonight. Oh, wow. Okay. Last night, we asked you at home to comment online about the show and the judges. Well, this was my favorite. Check this out. <laughs> Heidi, what do you think it is? <laughs> I like that. We do look like that. Ketchup. I and told mustard. you we did, and you didn't pay attention. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> we look yellow and red goes well together. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Howie, did you have a good time last night? I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life, and I loved reading all of your comments. Somebody was amazed at the sacrifice that Big Bird had to do for her dress. <laughs> Amazing. Your dress. Oh, man. Okay, he's brutal. He is brutal. Look, thank you, judges. People always ask why I need a service dog. I don't. You got me, I'm faking it. <laughs> he has two primary services. First, he gets my beer for me. Good boy. Now number two, fetch me a girlfriend. <laughs> You're ruining my set, you jerk. <laughs> Go fetch Sophia Viagra. I'm here. I'm single. Oh no, damn autocorrect. I meant Sophia Vergara. Did you push her buzzer? Is that what happened? We got a playback. We got proof. That's it. It was not me, girl. Let's show the tape. Show them the tape. I know. You're really? looking at me like, Run the what? tape. I would not press my what? buzzer in the semifinal. I don't know what. The okay. tape just showed you dead. pressed Heidi's buzzer. I'm What's sorry. going on here? What is going on with you, Howie? I, I there didn't. is an invisible line right here. This is your side. This I knew what she was thinking. Thing. I knew what you were thinking. Am I right? Well, sometimes it did sound a little ee! It but, did, right. but And I I'm here it, for you. But also, I don't know how it sounds at home, you know, because, yeah. but I do. We're not judging home, we're judging here, and wasn't here. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> some, sometimes, uh, but not buzzer worthy. So that was think, on man. him. What, what do you I think? I don't agree with her. I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> man, I don't believe this. Sophia, straighten this out for us. <laughs> well, I. I think you guys sound very nice. I had, I was, I, I don't know. I kept waiting for Simon to ask for another song. I know, <laughs> I, I know. I can't say he was. My name is Jay Osh. I'm, I'm from Nigeria. 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 He snuck back in. All right. What do you do? I'm the fastest rapper in the world. All right. Well, good luck. I hope this works out. Yeah. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Hess is my F, it's me do with the minute when they just move for like we should live in this with the level. Pick it with the bus over the window, some with the window, but some with the fellow. What's like I said, all I know. Ever since my face is pick it, they had it. Was that the whole, was that the whole thing? I was, I was getting to the best parts. I was, I was about to kill it. Why didn't you keep going? Keep it going, go, JS, go! Hand me, hand me, send me a fan. Get to the rhythm and the with 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 the the with 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 the the a man, right? Mm -hmm. The writing is great, the acting is excellent, but the visuals of Yellowstone are amazing. Yellowstone, the park looks amazing. So imagine my excitement when my buddy Eric invited me to his wedding. Where? In Yellowstone. Are you coming? Oh, I'm there. I've been watching the show. <laughs> The second I landed, guys, I got it. This place was so beautiful, so majestic. I understood Kevin Costner. Shoot, I became Kevin Costner. <laughs> By the third day, I was telling people to get off my land. Get off my land! <laughs> sure, it was in the hotel courtyard, but that's the way that I felt. I couldn't stop saying, go on, get. You go on, get! 
You go on get from that cucumber water, sir. You've had enough of our minerals. I don't want to hate people. They make me hate them. <laughs> I'm all about love. You feel that immediately with me. But I was on the airplane coming here. A woman in the seat behind me, she gets up and she starts spritzing cinnamon. I go, lady, what are you doing? She goes, well, it's natural. I go, so is my butt, but I'm not putting it in your face. <laughs> I didn't want to hate her. She made me hate her. Do you see what's happening there? Yes. I'm a victim. I had a car accident recently. I'm all right, don't worry. <laughs> Young guy, stoned out of his mind, on his cell phone, music blaring, looked a lot like you. <laughs> Gets out of his car, you know, with the man bun. Dude, I don't know what happened, dude. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what happened is in 1999, your mother forgot her birth control. <laughs> That's what happened, dude. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. <laughs> I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. <laughs> I'm not from California, but I look like I am. <laughs> Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> now, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon, though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, God. You know, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop. This one dude tried to humiliate me, like I knew he was gonna rob us, cause I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but, he tried, 
He tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked in my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you starting Are you starting? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive, blissed, right? Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times, you're alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, <laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's it. That's it. We need more. We need more. Uh, Holly, last night you were brutally honest, and that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, Right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, <laughs> Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them <laughs> don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> I was grumpy yeah. sometimes, and Simon is sometimes local, so it, there's nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience this is what's going to happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot. I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes the statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> you do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? <laughs> yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> what? Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right. I will do an impression. Yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay, all right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap, it's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot, <clears throat> come on! <laughs> all right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah, who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. 
<laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> That's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No, not at that. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> him, him, They're him, cheating him, 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 because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. This is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with 100 kids. <laughs> oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll. And my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. <laughs> and I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Ho, ho, ho. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> 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 Job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world, went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. And we broke up, and I was pantalones. <laughs> yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter, Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> there was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And I said, no, you know what? No. 
care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? <laughs> it's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent! Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, I'm he's not. a real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at is that you worked on Canada's Got Talent. You would have won Canada's Got Talent. You guys are so fucking good. I'm kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? Okay. So my daughter turns 16, and she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella, and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're 16. Listen to yourself, a hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> when I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. Okay, right? So I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask, right, Howie? Right. Right. I'm not gonna get on a bus full of first graders sober, not, not whatever, okay? <laughs> I take out my flask, you know, have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask! <laughs> you know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? <laughs> I'm like, calm down, biatch. <laughs> I'm not driving this bus. <laughs> My Jamaican mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord I mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> you know how that show works? Get somebody who's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra and baby panties and wear you on a scale and for cattle on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> The first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. I just got broken up with. It was an open relationship. Means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this. Apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> you guys know, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! <laughs> no! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> Listen. Listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? <laughs> Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? <laughs> yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes over, he's like, hey, man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now, all right? <laughs> I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. <laughs> uh, I got colors and shapes down. I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. <laughs> uh, remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it. You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. <laughs> how did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. 
When I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds, <laughs> that was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six-month-old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <laughs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're gonna think it's real. I did that. <laughs> Freaking cart! Ow! Don't do that. I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs>